Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton are debating next week in Brooklyn. What would you like to hear these candidates say um, on school choice in particular? I would love to hear them say that they support um, every opportunity for parents to have access to a high uh, quality school, whether that's a uh, school that's a traditional district school or whether it's a public charter school. Uh, I would love to hear them say that uh, what matters most for our kids is that uh, they have an opportunity to fulfill all of the greatness that they already have and that uh, we should focus more on the result and the quality of the school than the governance framework of the school. So both seem from the most uh, current readings we have to, to continue to support high quality charters, but I would much rather hear an unequivocal um, and unqualified uh, support for what we know works for our babies. In your view, what does Bernie Sanders think about charter schools? Uh, it's not clear. I mean, he said he supports charter schools, but not private charter schools, and of course, that's a contradiction in terms because charter schools are public. I don't know if he meant by that that he doesn't support uh, the uh, handful of jurisdictions that have for-profit uh, charter schools, and, and those are areas where we uh, 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 aren't supportive either, uh, to be frank. Uh, At this point in the race, uh, could you say of all the presidential candidates, Republicans and Democrats, um, who is the education candidate? In your so uh, we think we're very proud that Senator Clinton has a long history of supporting charter schools. Uh, going back to her time as First Lady of Arkansas. Uh, she's consistently expressed support for high quality charters. Uh, Senator Sanders have been, has been much more muted, much more qualified. And so from what we've seen so far, Senator Clinton is a much uh, uh, a stronger candidate, not only on charter schools, but on education policy in general. Even despite the concerns that she expressed by her husband recently about the amount of standardized testing that U.S. kids... Yeah, we were concerned about that. You know, we, we spoke out uh, against that. Um, what uh, would you tell Hillary Clinton if you could in response to her? Well, yeah, we communicate you know, with, 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 with the campaign and what we believe is that there should be annual assessments uh, uh, so that we can know year on year how our children are doing. Uh, we don't believe our schools can be a black hole where kids come out and we don't have good data about how they're doing. Um, you know, we obviously do have concerns about some of the, um, uh, you know, language we've seen on both sides of some of these education reform issues we've seen from Senator, Senator Clinton. Uh, she does have a long history of supporting school choice and supporting charter schools. Uh, and we're hopeful that uh, if she's the president that she'll act more consistent with what that record has been. Today in each of the amazing panels that I attended yeah. and throughout your speech, um, which I really enjoyed and thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, the refrain that I heard was that every child's uh, every child has inherent potential and that we need to protect it and nurture it yeah. um, and value it. Yeah. How, how does America do that collectively right now? Are we doing it enough? And if not, what can policymakers and educators and parents do to improve? Yeah, I definitely think we are um, systematically at all. And I think, it, I think it, it begins with, I mean, obviously parents have a foundational role. I think it really comes to, from a policy making standpoint, making sure our schools are great, making sure that every adult who comes into contact with our children believes in a limitless possibility of each and every child uh, that's within their care. And not all adults do that. Uh, Sometimes it's very explicit and very conscious. Sometimes it's um, unconscious and implicit, but you can just see it in the way in which people in, in, in interact with our kids.